talk about Duolingo. It's a language learning platform, um, which is basically an app. Uh, as you know, I'm not a fan of apps, but I do actually like this one. Um, I'm learning Spanish on there. I'm also uh, improving my French and German as well. Um, but the, re the reason I like it is it breaks everything down into like food, clothing, blah, 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 animals, etc., etc. And it's done more in a game form. So it will get you to um, sort of like qualify by getting a high enough score in, say, food. Um, yeah, and then it will go gold and then you, you start to work your way down with all these extra bits of the courses um, but then you can, you'll start to see the ones that were gold in a week or so start to drop a little bit because it wants you to refresh keep your mind fresh keep that information flowing and I'm finding it very easy to learn um, because because of the engagement because um, you've got it like in a game form, which people, because uh, I'm competitive, so that, that suits me. But on top of that, you've got that bit where you can share with friends. So my daughter, Nicole, is miles ahead on German at the moment. Um, she Within a within a weekend, she got ahead because she, she had nothing else to do that weekend. So she basically went way past where I was um, and also went past April as well. So... But she's also found that she's finding it easy to learn that. That, but when she goes to school, um, she's actually ahead of the class because she's already learning the structures and stuff. And because in the classroom it's normally uh, a book exercise, and um, you might do listening, but generally, I mean, I know when I was doing language lessons, it was mainly from a book. Um, so he didn't really pick much up. You weren't really interested. But with Duolingo, because it's it sends you these reminders like you haven't done your um, German today, you haven't done your Spanish, you're like, okay, 15 minutes, da 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 da, done, got my high score, got my uh, experience points for the day, and off you go. And then it does the same every day. So if you're only inputting 15 minutes or an hour, it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, it's keeping you interested. Um, and I find it great. I, re I really do. I found it. I find it better than the um, Rosetta Stone. I find it better than um, what's that other one I was doing? I think it's Pinsler. I started doing Pinsler, and I found one of the problems with that is although it says Spanish, it was wasn't Spain Spanish, and it wasn't. It didn't identify which <laughs> Spanish it was. Um, so it wasn't a lot of use to me. Um, but also. Learning for me is only um, only good if I'm sat still. Um, for example, on the plane I can do it, but most of the time I'm not on the plane. In the car I can do it, but because I'm getting so busy at the moment, um, that one wasn't really working for me. Um, but what was is Duolingo, because like just before I go to bed, just about to nod off. I'll get this, you haven't done your Spanish today. <laughs> They're like, okay, I'm a bit tired, but I'll do 15, 20 minutes. And then sometimes you'll sit there for an hour. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. Highly recommend it. I'll put the link at the bottom so you can go and find it. Um, but it's also free, which is the bonus bit. Um, I'd actually pay to use this one. Um, it's better than Rosetta Stone, that's like I was saying. But also there's a the little... Uh, cool bit in there um, where if you're struggling with something you, there's actually comments inside each um, like little test piece so you can actually go in, into the comments and people are actually discussing things in there as well so because um, you know like um, in Spanish there's like feminine and male um, you know like manzanas being apples and so so you, the A's like it's a bit like Philipp the Philippines with the Spanish influence where Pinoy is male and Pine is female. Um, Spanish is like that, but it does it with food and all sorts, so it gets really confusing. But in the comments, it explains it a bit more. Um, but I say have a look at Duolingo. 
And there's a reason, there's another good reason, because um, I forgot to explain what, why it's so good, is when you're doing the um, test, what happens? You get ones where it'll uh, get you to put structure the sentence together with pre-made words. It'll get you to um, translate. It will also get you to um, say phrases and memorize them. It'll actually record your voice and check whether you said it correctly. All these things with the, the actual voice going um, at the same time it says every sentence, etc. You're absorbing it. And that's why it works really well. Um, it's the best one I've found so far. Um, highly recommend it. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I'll put the link down there. Go and get it. Have a play with it and see what you think. All right, cheers.